Hello, Florida Sage, and welcome to your Tribal Review Red. I'm Caitlin Boatwright. And I'm Briani Fuimano. On this edition, we took a look at our staff of parateachers and uncovered the important roles they fulfill in our schools. And later, Ms. Daly provides a way of understanding statistics using a Barbie doll and rubber bands. Find out more coming up very soon. Later in this episode, we meet up with two football players who played in Senior Bowl. Stay tuned because Tribal Review Red starts now. Our parateachers work hard behind the scenes within the classes to ensure an equal and efficient educational process for all the students. Briani and I found out their most memorable experiences in the work they put into helping students. So let's find out exactly what our... A parent is a teaching related position within a school, generally responsible for specialized or concentrated okay, assistance for students. Matthew right. Dunnigan is a parent here okay. at Fort Osage. Box in starts with the B. So let's go to the B. Um, there are many things about my job that are difficult, but the hardest thing about my job is when you have a student that is not motivated and they've decided in their, in their mind that they really don't want to do an assignment or something like that. And you have to reach down within yourself and figure out a way to motivate them. You have to find the right way to motiv motivate them and you have to, you know, kind of fight through that challenge when, when a student is, has made their mind up that they're not going to do the assignment or they're just not motivated. So that, would, to me, is the hardest part, is trying to figure out a way to motivate them when they're not motivated. Are we working on Having a pair is very beneficial to some students who need it. Linda Pittman works with Miss Biddle and loves it. James' birthday and Miss Biddle's birthday. Happy birthday. What's the best part about your job? The best part is I time in at 7.30, I leave at 2.30. I don't have to call parents. I don't have to handle grades. I just go in the classroom and try to get classroom control so we can have a lot of fun. And also I get to do Elvis moves. Kurt Bankston enjoys being a parent and loves working with all of his students. They're awesome. These guys are awesome students. They're all awesome. Trust me. Well, um, a lot really. I came from a uh, utility company, a major utility company, many years ago. If you saw me, as they know me as Mr. Herb, I would be here opening up transformers giving the school an electrical bill. And I had shifted careers. I worked for a district, and there was a teacher that I had worked with that really helped me, gave me some insight on what I could do in terms of being service. And so that particular teacher was a model for me. And basically what he said, he said, he said basically, he said, you know, Mr. Herb, in order to work effectively with, you know, young adults and stuff like that, you have to build relationships. And when he gave me that, I took that and ran with it. And, and again, it's an opportunity to go work with great kids, great young adults, great staff, and we're moving forward all the time. And I'm, I'm blessed and I'm pleased. Paris have a huge role here at Fordo Stage. Not everyone can do the job as good as they do. I'm Brianna Poimano. And I'm Kayla Boatwright, and we're reporting for Travel Review Red. Jessie Garino shows us how Miss Daly puts a fun twist on her class activities for basic st statistics. Students got to partake in a Barbie doll bungee jump during class to help better understand the lessons and equations they have been working on. The group, the group that gets her closest to the ground. Miss Daly's basic statistics class did a Barbie doll bungee jump lab. Students were to find out how many rubber bands were needed to be used for the Barbie to bungee the closest to the ground without touching it. I asked the students to do a Barbie doll bungee jumping and um, they had to create a linear regression equation that predicted the number of bands it took to um, drop Barbie from the balcony in the practice gym without hitting her head on the ground. 
Students practice the rubber band jump by adding one extra rubber band to the rubber band chain after every test run, up to five rubber bands. Each measurement will be recorded. I liked that the bungee jumping was a fun activity to do, and we still use equations that we were using in class, so it helped me better understand what we were learning in class. Each group of students compete by dropping their ball from the top of the practice gym balcony. The winning group will have the longest jump without a crash into the ground. I thought the experiment was really fun and interesting being able to use like basic objects to figure out something that could actually work in real life. The winning group won using 15 rubber bands and they had previously stretched them out before adding them to the rubber band chain. This has been Jesse Garina reporting for Tribal Review Red. Thanks Jesse. And now we visit one of our successful athletes who last month had the honor of playing in the All-American Bowl. Dalton Miller tra traveled to Jacksonville, Florida and enjoyed this experience of a lifetime with his family. This January, one of our football players, number 76, Dalton Miller, was voted on to play in front of NFL coaches in Florida for the All-American Bowl. I was the smallest guy down there, which, I mean, I'm not that small, but there was a bunch of big old boys, a bunch of good athletes, and um, we were losing like 43 to 7 at half, and then we managed to come back and win it in double overtime, so that was pretty cool. Bryce Palmer, another player on the defensive line, feels that Dalton Miller is an intimidating presence on the field. There was a couple of times like like I was blocking someone and he just came came by and just completely took them off their feet and without even trying really. He's just got a lot of power. He's a pretty strong guy. Mr. Ammon sees firsthand the hard work that Dalton puts into his game. Well along his work ethic, he's very very good worker. He's silent as he does it. I mean, it, it's become almost comical, the lack of reaction he gets sometimes. He's a quiet assassin, in essence. I mean, he takes care of business, but it's in his manner. He's not very vocal or anything, and he wasn't very vocal even in that game the other day that he played in. But uh, he goes about his work. He does it well. He takes pride in what he does, and that's why he's gotten bigger and stronger and faster, and especially his speed is what's really stood out for him and really helped him out uh, during his high school career as well as these camps and stuff as he's preparing for college. Dalton Miller continues to work hard after the legacy he's left here at Fort. I'm Dakota Bryce reporting for Travel Review Red. Senior football player Ezra Valifi also enjoyed one more game. He was offered the trip to play running back on the black team for the Polynesian Bowl. Ezra played for the black team during the Polynesian Bowl. They won the game 34-26. Sons of Wanamaker, a fellow running back, says that he looked to Ezra as a leader during the regular season. He felt good. He felt like a brother to me. Uh, he's a good kid. Uh, always ran hard. Didn't ever mess up. Uh, looked him as a leader on the team. During the regular season, Ezra rushed for 2,034 yards. Coach Joe Bernard talked about what an honor was coaching Ezra during his senior season. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty cool feeling. Uh, Ezra is a great player, um, great leader, and just to see that on the football field and to see his effect on the whole team, it was a it was a it was a pleasure to coach him. Ezra shares his thoughts on how much of an honor it was that him and Tuaya Tuala were chosen to go to the All American Polynesian Bowl. It was a good experience because that's a big game for the Samoan community like around here and being the only one from me and my cousin Tawai being the only ones from Missouri there was a lot of people that didn't know that I don't know we played pretty good football out here and so it was pretty cool how everyone was either from California or Hawaii but you know it was a good game to play in and got a lot of exposure so yeah it's pretty fun. Ezra recorded the first tackle on kickoff coverage. He was excited to be playing. I got the first tackle of the game on opening kickoff. That was pretty fun. We were all hyped up, so yeah, everybody got pretty loud. Next time you get a chance to see Ezra, congratulate him on being chosen to go to the All-American Polynesian Bowl. Coming up on our next episode, the Freshman Boys Basketball 18 was placed in a tournament hosted by Blue Springs. 
Also, students have been crazy over the new app called Flappy Bird. We'll take a look at this strangely addictive game. From the cast and crew of Travel Review Red, we'll see you next time.